Hi everybody, it's Nancy again, and I've been busy playing in my room. It's still very, very cold here. The ice is melting very slowly, so I've been staying in the house. Well, we went shopping this morning, but mainly just to eat IHOP. <laughs> but that's about it. Okay, um, I wanted to tell you that uh, I tried, I subscribe to everybody that subscribes to me. So I came across this channel a few weeks ago. It's Borikua Girl. Do you all see that? I hope you can see. Um, and one of the first videos I watched of hers, she was making, uh, no, she was in a swap and they made ATC cards. I have never made one. So I thought, oh, these are cute, I'll try it. So to, I'll show you my very first attempts today. I don't know the rules about ATC cards, uh, but I just, I had the ATC cards. I bought them a while back, but I've never made them. So I finally did today. So this is my very first one that I made. And I used this paper from last year. And uh, I used this paper also from last year. I got that at Hobby Lobby last year. And I still got, as you see, I got a whole bunch left. Anyway, so I adhered this uh, paper and then whitewashed it a little bit. And then I did the glue gun fake icicles and glittered it. And this is one of these um, stars like this. And what I did is I cut the big part off. So that left me with this. Now, I don't know if uh, the rules at the ATC card is that you have to stay within the two and a half by three and a half because some of mine, I didn't stay in it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this was my, and this is just a button and because it's, uh, it's got the uh, green polka dots, I put green thread in the button. Okay, that was my first one. Then I did this one. And here I got a little bit more intricate. Can you see? Gosh, I can't never get used to this. Okay, I think you can see, right? Where am I? Here. Okay, here. This is supposed to be a point sieta, but I don't have any. The so I just made believe this is a point sieta. This is a uh, Merry Christmas I printed off my computer. This is the music sheet from the from the big stack. This big stack here. And uh I cut this out with my Cricut a long time ago. And this is um, a brooch. And I just cut the back off. And it's enameled little brooch. Oh, and this little lace I had left. It's a good way to use up little pieces of things you have left. So this is my second one. Again, I'm out of the thingy, but I don't know the rules, so I don't care. Then I made this one. It's very, uh, I think it's very vintage uh, or old timey looking. Again, with the fake icicles. This is the Holokin from the Little Stack. And then some berries and some ice branches. And again, Merry Christmas from the uh, computer. And uh, this is my last Christmas one here. I put on this pearl drop and I put stickles on it to make it look like ice. A little um, cheesecloth and one of my molds. And it says here the angels sing 
from the computer and I had this little charm, a little tiny star with the bling in it. Oh, and I put stickles on the angel also. Okay, and then I was tired of Christmas and I thought I'd do some artsy ones, but you know, I'm not very artsy, so see what you think. I did this one, and this is just uh, old dictionary paper, and uh, I used uh, alcohol inks. I only have two kinds. Let me show you what I've used. Yeah, I've used this uh, juniper and uh, mountain rose, and the juniper is on the outside, and the mountain rose is in here. This I got off the internet, and I stickled her wings and her little bow, and this blue flower because uh, she has the blue bow. And uh, I made this make time to dream, so I put a, a clock there, and from the clock I hung a little those a little bling with the dragonfly and some little flowers I love these little flowers these are from uh, Trisha from a little shabby chic hi Trisha thank you so much I love these little tiny flowers they are adorable and th they go on little projects so well so this is my artsy one <laughs> And this is my other artsy one. And uh, this was a little fairy, and, or yeah, a little fairy. And I cut her legs off, but that's okay. She doesn't need them because she has wings to fly. So she didn't mind. And she's purple, so I had to, I had just a few purple flowers right here. And uh, I fixed this so it looks like she was actually holding a very long stem of uh, flower. So I cut the, fl the flower off and I fixed it so it looks like she's holding a bird cage with a bird. And I put soar on here. Again, I'm out of the cards, so I think it's okay. I really should look up the rules one day. Hmm. Okay, and then I saw this um, last night in bed. I couldn't sleep, so I was watching videos, and there is a channel, and I'm not familiar with this one. It's called Scrap, -a Scrap the World. I hope you see. I don't know how to link, or I would link it all, but I don't know how, so... I wrote it down so you all could see. And uh, she calls it a 10-minute mini. And they're made out of file folders. You know, regular uh, file folders that you can buy at Office Depot, Walmart, or anywhere. And she really did make it in, in, in 10 minutes. Of course, for me, it was longer. But um, anyway... So you cut the file folders by six by eight, and then you half them. So then you have four by six. So this is a four by six album. And again, I used the same paper as I showed you before. And uh, this I cut out of my Cricut. There's a little uh, snowflake behind there. And you remember I showed you this uh, rosette I made before with the little cherub. And I glued some lace here. She didn't, um, she, she, she made them for, uh, you know, uh, events to sell. So she didn't really decorate them much, uh, because she makes them in 10 minutes and she can make a lot of them. A uh, craft shows. She makes them for craft shows. That was it. Anyway, I decorated mine just a little bit. I didn't like the spine showing. So I put this lace on there and wrapped it around, you see? Because I didn't want the file folder showing too much. And that's uh, 
uh, that lace is the uh, same color as the folders was. So, and basically it's just this. It looks like this. And I put the little lace on there because I don't know if it's my cutter or if it's my eyes, but I can never get it straight. It's probably my eyes, but uh, so I put l the same lace throughout. And what you do is you just put little Christmas or four by six, no, you know, like three by five Christmas pictures in here. And uh, I thought, wouldn't they make great little stocking stuffers or hostess gifts because they go so quickly? So I, I enjoyed making this because it was very quick and you don't have to uh, really do much um, decor. You could mat it again here, but uh, you don't have to do much. It's really cute. And then the very last thing I made, and this I saw on my Butterfly Kisses 12. But I think you all know her because she has a big, big following, including myself. I do follow her and Bori Kua Girl, but the Scrap of the World is new for, for me. And what is this called? A box something. I forget. Uh, and I followed her tutorial, and I really like it, too, for a hostess gift. Of course, this is not Christmas or anything. This is, I think, French... Not the graphic 45 French country. Um, it's a different French country. And I didn't decorate it much because I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet and who, or in what I'm going to put in yet or anything. But um, d d it's very easy to make and I quite enjoyed making it. And I was really surprised I could... Oh, uh, she has a die-cutting machine, which I do now also. I just got mine, but I don't have many... I don't have any dies, really. Uh, and she cut a window in here w and put some acetate. Uh, and it was beautiful. I'm going to do that also with my next one. So, this is all I made uh, since yesterday. Yep since yesterday and I just wanted to share it with you thank you for watching my channel and for supporting me and be good and kind to each other positive thoughts and stay warm stay out of this terrible cold weather and I'll talk to you next time thank you bye bye